check this out. Any guesses where we are? Different floating cabins this time. A little bit more upmarket. It's a lot of them. We're down this end. We're out at Muang Fuang. We went out and visited our Hmong friend, Mr. Chua, today. Bit of an update about the school coming. And his family held a bit of a ceremony for Nina and I and Tony and Shelly. Tony and Shelly is with us. The Aussie couple who donated that large sum to Mr. Chua so he could finish the school. So here they are down here. Nina's got a foot up, as you'll find out in the upcoming vlog next week. She broke a bloody foot, didn't she? We're out at Buddha Park. She's got the camera up like this, not looking where she's going and stepped in a hole and went ass up. When Nene goes ass up, she breaks shit. <laughs> and what are you doing? You're sitting there with all your mates. Look at this, this is where we are, guys. 26, 27. And here's where the botlo is. You can't beat that, eh? Hey? This is better than those bamboo cabins down there because you've got the botlo right down on the water with you. guys remember those mountain peaks it is a little bit smoky now the burning season is well and truly upon us it is the 17th of march and we are out here at my friend's place my mong friend chua hello if you guys remember chua he's the young mong man who teaches english every weekend for free to all the village students um, we've come out here today because he's just about finished his school at the it was probably not even three years ago. We were out here during COVID and it's the first time we met him and I did ask him, you know, after he told us what he was doing, he said, what do you want to do here? What would you like? Where would you like to be in five years? I want to have my own school. <laughs> About 12 months ago, he reached out to me after seeing one of my Wong Fuang videos and explained to me what he does here. He, he teaches English to students from the school and said, next time I'm in the area, I should come past. The students want to um, listen to a native English speaker speak, which I thought was funny because English speakers don't even understand how I speak. But anyway, here we are. Come on, you're late, you're late for school. Yeah. Run. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you live? Where are you live? Ah, oi, gang, 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 gang. <laughs> they're all good, but they just try. Do you get any money in return for these classes you do? Yeah. Or no, no, this is just yeah. something you want to do. Yeah, I just want to do and I just uh, give them education for free and you know, I don't take any money. Yeah, okay, yeah. So where do all the supplies come from? The books, the pens? The books, the pens and they just buy by themselves. They buy them themselves? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And for the marker, that is, I just buy by myself. Orange! 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 And through the help of a lot of you guys and fundraising, GoFundMe and other people helping, he has finished his school. And we're about to go out there and uh, update it now, but he's got a little bit of a ceremony going on here for us today to um, thank Tony and Shelley and us for the help over the years. And once that's over, We'll go in and he'll show us around the school and what it's like then. So, uh, this, today is a great opportunity and since today is in March, 
2024, right? Yeah, so today as a host and is the owner, so he would like to show high respect to all the to like uh, to brother Don and his family, including to the Donny man and his family. Yeah. So since last time, yeah, you you both you all have donating such a big money donating or school price to help me build the schools. Right now we can complete it like ninety percent. Yeah. So we would like to show I respect to you all. And now you you all are stand up and we will start doing it. Yeah, my mom and yeah. She and she is the sh uh, shaman. My mom is a shaman. Yeah and so she is doing that. Yeah. ยังอันนี้เหรอสารทัพเจ้าขอชื่อหน้าจันตาชื่อคุณจิงบุญทอดทอดผมได้ครอบครัวเลขโทรตรงนี้แม่ผมได้ครอบครัวที่เพื่อ
the white mountain chicken. The pork is really good. The rice, the kaffir lime leaves and the smoked beef, I think it is. That was delicious. And this tangy hot chilli sauce. What a great food that was. The ceremony. Hey, that was, that was very good. The ceremony. Okay, bye again there. Getting everybody in frame and that, yeah. First stop with the toilet, I think. <laughs> so they do have one so you can sit down there, skip yeah. school and get on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Did this one for, for kids. For the, the squatters. That's the teacher's yeah. one, is it? That's the teacher's yeah. yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kids <laughs> one. The one I just <laughs> noticed this one was named after me. Yeah. Toddo. And the other room is for uh, Baku. That's the bathroom. Okay. But we have bathroom, to shower room. We haven't cleaned it up. We have to set some here. So, yeah. you'll come from the farm, yeah. come in here, shower, and teach? Yeah. Ah, okay. Heard them all. All got their phones out. <laughs> you coming in with me? You go in first. No. No. Hello, Sabedi. How are you today? How are you? Everybody good? Everybody fine? Yeah. Elena doesn't want to come in. What a change this is, isn't it, guys? Tour's desk. Haven't they come a long way from when we were here? Probably be about closing in on three years. Obviously they don't teach this many in one go. We've got three different age groups of classes that he does teach here today. But he's going on about 60 students that he teaches through the three different age groups. So as you've probably heard um, throughout the day, he is just waiting on electricity now. He uh, has got, gotten help from an American person with the ceiling fans. He has those. Thank you very much, whoever that was. And he's applied for the electricity to be connected. Once that's connected, the fans can go in. and. They won't be sweating so bad in there. It is so stinking hot. It was much needed. Uh, but Mr. Chua's dream has come true. And thank you to all those people, all those viewers who have pitched in and helped also. You work here and the wife says, <laughs> does she? <laughs> uh, this book's yeah. keeping for the library. Okay, library okay. For students. You've yeah. done a very good job, mate. Thank You've you. done a very Thank good you. job. Thank so you. proud of you. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Why we, are, why we are got the office, right? Yeah. When we get the office, we are, if we have more students, you break this park yeah, yeah. and you make only the big classroom. A big classroom, yeah, so then, yeah. Last year for us. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. you need help. You need <laughs> yeah. another teacher. Yeah. 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 yeah, we have said that so many if times. If you have more and teachers, then you can set like two classes. Yeah. 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 If you're looking for a really cool experience when traveling Laos, or anybody who lives in Laos would like to come out and 
donate some of their time helping these kids learn English, you're more than welcome to come out here and stay. You know, it's a 20-minute ride from in town. You'll be staying in one of those riverside cabins, living the life, coming out here, helping the kids of a weekend afternoon. Look at these mountains. It is a little bit smoky now, but it is the burning season. March, April. So. But he has done a superb job. Nice colours. Very sufficient bathroom, toilets and that there. And well fenced off and that now. Keep the children locked in. Not that they need to be locked in. They're, they're here of their own choosing. What a long way you have come. What a long way <laughs> from the lean-to of your old house yeah, sure. there you to this the... today. Yeah. yeah, you've done... Your dream has come true. You, yeah, have, sure. you have your school. Yeah. <laughs> we have to have school. Yeah. I guess we've got all the brothers and sisters from all of yeah. helping. Yeah. yeah. How, yeah. Many, how many children you got? 60 right now? Yeah. Each class about 60, uh, 23. The songs we have. So classes. your next thing you've got to do is you and your wife got to have baby put one more in. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's been great seeing you. Thank you so much. Thank you. For what your family and friends have done to cook that meal for us in the ceremony. Thank you. Uh, it, is, it really does mean a lot. Yeah. And thank you to your older brother, the neighbor, but for it also. So, thank you. Got you. I got to capture this, guys. I'm getting a couple of chairs out of the back of the ute here. Here this. Dude! Dude! <laughs> it's from Ray. Ray and Vivian. They are both Hong. They have been following my videos. Been following. They've been staying in guest houses. I have probably been asking for the same rooms, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> right. But what a small world, eh, bumping in you guys? It is. I, yeah. We wanted advice. We wanted a lot of people were scaring, uh, scaring us off. Don't travel alone. And, and we started watching Todd's video and his uh, he's like he's giving us advice what we need to do what we need to stay certain places and We took all this advice and soaked it all in and here we are traveling by ourselves. So how do you feel? It's easy traveling it's by easy. yourself? My it's story is easy. really uh, unique for you. I, yeah, I, I'm I was born here. I Was born in Long Chain the place you've been. Yeah. To. Yeah, my mother's oh, buried I there I went there this weekend to see my mother's burial ground during the war and then um, our old house, which is all demolished now, but uh, uh, I was able to, you know, you know that feeling you have when you're there, that you get that chill in your spine, like this is it, this yeah. is it, this is where my mom's buried. Yeah, know? yeah. That's how I felt. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When you travel, when you went through a long chain, I was telling, I was telling Vivian that if Todd, if Todd just made that right right there, we, our house is there. I hope uh, he turns. Uh, <laughs> nah. Uh. <laughs> but it's awesome. awesome. Uh, how cool is it bumping yeah. into you guys? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> so you're staying here another night? Are you in these cabins at all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're down in uh, well, eight or nine eight. or something. All oh, right. Yeah. Along these ones yeah. along the yeah. bend. Oh, right. well, I think they're all part of the same one. We're up near the shop here at right 26, on. 27. Right on. I'm going to have a, a couple of tasty beverages. Okay. And I'll probably come for a walk. Right on. And if you, you guys want to come up for a drink later, by all means, come and join yeah. us. Well done. But we're well done. here for the night and <laughs> yeah. no doubt going to be sleeping in. <laughs> all right. Okay, we'll get out of this sun. Oh, yeah. Nice Very to meet nice you, Vivian. You okay. <laughs> okay. No doubt we're not going to recognise this area. 12 months we'll have to come back up and see what they are actually doing there hey it does look a bit construction-y doesn't it but that's because it is construction-y right oh, no, I will explain where we are guys I'm just getting a couple of chairs out of the back we are down at Nam Leek river cabins but not the river cabins you guys are used to seeing us stay in yeah 
not like your little bamboo cabins cabins they're more of a luxury cabin well as luxury as river cabins go it's only new so it does look a bit bare bones at the moment you can imagine this once it is um landscape properly or just the undergrowth and vine and that all grown back but they are really nice these cabins inside so much different than the little bamboo cabins all sealed no insects getting in no need for uh, a mosquito net and you do have bathroom there okay looks like no number twos down here Nina's resting up she it was a mission for her getting down those stairs these are the only stairs they've all got their own bathroom air conditioned and very substantial decks as you will see that's decks oh, here we go end of an afternoon they are on the right side of the river the shady side starting from zero down there all the way up here till about I think it's about to 28 and then the shop we're at 26 and 27 right next to the bottler but so much cooler on this side here comes little Miss Boofhead. What do you got? You want to carry one? There you go, you take one. Got the lads there enjoying cards after a swim. Got little pools there. Every so often dotted along here so you can get in there and the sharks won't attack you. There's a shark cage. Seven. Yes, darling. Yeah. Look at this. They're already tucking in. I got held up with a couple of long subscribers, mate. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Wandering along. Hey, Todd! Once you were down here, you don't have to go far. Because um, we've got the canteen over here, the snack shop got the good chips the noodles and most importantly the fridge stacked well with beer layer summers be pepsi sting large bottles water and they do whack up meals here for you also how much development has gone on here hey guys look at this I'm trying to work out what the hell they're doing now filled out into the river and you can see the muddy water going down that way towards the original river cabins down there when we first came here from the original videos they were the only cabins down there directly in front of that boat where is it can't see it. my big blurry fingers in the road I was just saying to Tony, I wonder what they're like with the uh, runoff regulations here. You know, because all these rooms along here, there's about 28 of them. They only have showers only, and that would be for the reason of there's no sewage connected down here. So the shower water would be going straight in there. Straight into the river. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be the only person who puts his hand up and says he pisses in the shower. I'm pretty sure 90% of people do. But it is a Saturday and the excavator is there working, falling trees, dumping them in the river here. Uh, incredible how quickly this place has grown. And, yeah, it makes you think, what is it gonna be like in another year? Another three, five. I'm just glad I captured it when I did. It was a nice, quiet, peaceful getaway. Got out. Room service has arrived. When here, you don't want to go anywhere. Just let the lovely ladies at the um, tuck shop know. They phone the, the, tuck, the tuck boat. I'll just whack up anything you want here. Pad Kapow, anything. The chef here. 
got his chef vest on. Oh, um, Tony, he's been revving up the girls, uh, getting them to scull their drinks. They're down here, they've cranked the music up. They're up here dancing and partying now. They should be working at the tuck shop. <laughs> <laughs> Pet noy no. Noy. Noy no. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, that is a lot of green chilies there. Gotta remember that. Poor pet, which is no spice. Poor pet noy no. Just a little bit spicy. Noy no. These chooks have seen better days, haven't they? Still people jumping in this river up here. It'd have to be around 5 o'clock. And this is a good side of the river to get on. Nice and shady of an half. Mate, they really do take care of you. If you want to come to these or upmarket riverside cabins, go from about, book from about room 20 up to 28. You're right up close to the shop then. There is no shop down the other end. My Mong friend from the States, he's up in number eight. Up around, up around the corner. Too far. But you don't have to walk it. It's these girls that do. They will g give you room service. I'm on the Summers beer this half. Cheers, guys. Nina just here chilling like a villain. Hey. Look at this, how hard cause Nina. Nina. Broken foot, you can see it there. Hey. Right there is the bone. And in here. Oh yeah, a little bit of uh, peripheral bruising. Uh, you don't want a bloody cast on in this feet. When we finish this, we just get them to call the dessert boat. When we finish this, we get them to call the dessert boat. Good Nina, she does. Dessert boat. This is the main. This is the main course boat. Yeah, dessert. Yeah. It sucks when you have to explain jokes. There's mine there. Me and Nina. Chicken. Uh, chicken there. Is this the dessert boat? They're all in love with Tone. <laughs> Tone is a big flirt, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you go turn. <laughs> I think these guys have drank too much. So I followed him because I wanted to come to Laos. I, I wanted to see my mother. My, my mother was buried in Long Chain. So I started 
Googling roll for the wrong thing. And then the first video that popped up was Z. Yeah. They say uh, how to get to Long Well, I forgot what it is, Todd. Uh, you know, and he said, uh, uh, he saw General Bank Powell's house, and I said, right, let me click on this. And one video after the other, after the other, after the four Hmong village, after the other, and I was like, oh my god, this guy is so, I'm so into it now. I'm so into it. It's same thing. And I'm Hmong. Yeah, these guys are drunk. Yeah. So, so, the history for me is, uh, uh, in the 70s, I was born uh, during the Vietnam War. That's his brother-in-law. Yeah. I just came back to get back here. Back here. Just literally three days. You made it long time. Yeah. They're good. <laughs> I'm upstairs to help. I'm up there getting the chairs out of the car. To help this. To help a brother-in-law. <laughs> and uh, my wife was like, isn't that? Todd, I was like, what a God, come on. <laughs> hey, Todd! <laughs> I kind of screamed outside. I didn't want to make the scene. I was like, Todd! <laughs> and he went like this. He went like, <laughs> 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 was, oh, my, oh my God, that is Todd. <laughs> hey, Todd! <laughs> so I was younger, and I remember my father said, uh, uh, my father came back to the uh, uh, Long King. Everybody was evacuated, and they said that this is right before the day that the whole village was conquered. So uh, they radioed down. Uh, I, I, I excuse me, I forgot who the uh, American captain was that uh, signaled the uh, pilot to fly back to pick up my dad because there's a family that helped uh, the U.S. troop for so long. And this guy, from what he told me, pulled a gun to the pilot's head and it's like go back and pick up this family uh, either we all fall or uh, uh, they if they fall or we fall you know and, and so he literally made a u-turn and I remember that plane they, they radio in and I still remember my dad in panic mode in our little village in uh, Long Gang go go you know everybody take this take your belonging you know and, um, and I was little but my dad popped everybody, asked a couple of my uncles, and just go, let's just evacuate him. Uh, the plane came down, uh, they, without telling anybody, because if they told the whole village, everybody, everybody would have been So yeah. secretly, this plane came down, opened up the cockpit. It couldn't come to a complete stop, that was the mission. It wouldn't have enough juice to fly back out, so we had to keep strolling. By keep strolling, I was young. I couldn't too keep young, up. Too can't get there. I yeah. could not keep up. I can yeah. remember. I had to continuously run. I could run. But I your know. father got on. Every, I don't know who it is till this day. I still wonder who it is. Grab me by the belt. Uh, not the huh? belt. We don't have belt. <laughs> Grab you by the scruff yeah. of the pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, and throw me in there. And I remember I got on to the right side of that plane and I, I squat down and I saw the cockpit rising. At this point, I was like, where's my brother? Where's my dad? Where's my sister? Where's everybody? And it closed down. And then in, in my mind at that time, it was like um, an eternity. But uh, as soon as it opened up, back up, it was peace and quiet. It was peace and quiet. It was like, where are we at? Eventually, we ended up in Thailand, Nam Pong, uh, Nam Pong, Thailand. Wow. Nam Pong was uh, open up a little village, uh, uh, a little, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a refugee camp. Uh, they Good morning. Before we duck off, I did promise this little one to swim in the shark cage. It has got a bot bottom on it too, so she's not going to be able to slip through. Come on! Get down! One, two, three. <laughs> I pulled into Nazareth and I was feeling about a half hour's bed. Just needed some place where I could lay my head. 
Oh, hey, mister, won't you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand and know it was all he said. And take a load off Fanny, take a load for free, take a load off Fanny. And you gotta put the load right on me. Nearly forgot his phone number for you. No doubt there'll be many of you wondering how to book this place. There he's got. Hit him up and phone number. I went looking for a place to hide. When I saw Carmen and the devil standing side by side. I said, hey Carmen, come on, let's go downtown. She says, I gotta go, but my friends can stick around. 